ever dishonor and disrespect the Father's order. He made men. And let me give you the sign the Father gave me to show that this whole thing is off. He says, David, when they start dishonoring the order I set as male first, if they put the female above the male, what do you start having? Now you start having males under females. And how do males start acting? Like a woman. Uh-oh, y'all missing that. That's why you got so many feminine men today. It's a sign that it's out of order. Because fathers are disrespected in this country. Men are starting to be disrespected in this country. And you want your son to grow up as a healthy son, strong, a strong man. But because he's been raised by you, he's flipping his wrists every other day like you. He don't have no example, so he's putting on high heels. Maybe sometimes spank panties, I don't know. Yeah, that's right, I said it. That's right, I said it. <laughs> How do you cope with that when your son come in the room and he got a bra on? And now there's such a spirit running this country with that demon that is so bad. They are now trying to teach our children acceptance for homosexuality that they have to go through a course to understand that and that maybe even though you're a boy you're a girl and even though you're a girl you may be a boy so let's give you an alternative let me tell you why whenever there's a disorder everything gets out of order chaos God calls that homosexual stuff confusion confusion is chaos Chaos happen when there's no order. I believe, watch this. As things get in this rightful place in America, the homosexual movement and that whole spirit will be cast out of this nation. That's right, musicians. Do y'all understand me? You say, what's going to cast out this feminine spirit in our men today? When things get in order... Lift your hands. There is a spirit that is trying to come in our culture to undermine the order of God and ultimately deceive God's daughters. I am here by the spirit of God to explain to you that the greatness that God put in you, that you don't have to have ambition for nothing greater. You are already great. You need to discover that greatness. Women of God, look in my eyes. There's already greatness in you. There's no ambition the devil needs to offer you or that you need to accept that will make you any greater than what you are. 